Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 19 January to Tuesday. Bit of a squeeze overnight. Um, equities higher after sort of the holiday session yesterday. Dollars lower. Let's look at this gold chart first. Uh, bang, this is the dailies. Down to 1800 Because it's early in the day, you can't really make much of this daily bar, but I just wanted to show everybody through this 1817 loads of stops down there, obviously. Traded down to 18008. This is the gold futures market. I forget what the front month is. It might be February or March. Um man, gold goes left pretty well. Look at that bar, that hourly. Let's zoom in on the five minutes just to see if it was capitulation. There she is. Oh my, look at that. That is a five minute bar of from hell. Man, also at the witching hour. So just at the turnover on a holiday into Asia. Somebody just rammed a bunch of stops. 1% five minute bar. That could be capitulation. We got to keep an eye on that. Um, <clears throat> it's early. Uh, we really won't know if it's capitulation until we kind of make a new daily high, which is actually up at 56. So this isn't a trade setup because your risk reward is now totally upside down. What are you going to do? Leave a 40 buck stop here and, and try and make 400 bucks. Um, but just interesting and it's another sort of cog in this is the dollar offered or bid for me the equities are driving this right so equities are higher overnight um let's also go five minute yeah that same time i wonder if there was new oh no that was 320 that was the middle of asia i didn't see any interesting news overnight but looks like stops uh you know weak shorts were taken out 84 up to 96 and now back I'm willing to bet this is going to look like a turn now, though. Yeah, so here's the four hourly, which closes in, in 16 minutes. In the middle of nowhere here, so not much to do. This trend line might be useful today. Just touched it yesterday. I mean, just touched it 41 low um, Friday. Yesterday was really a nothing day, holiday trade. Um, but you're in the middle of nowhere here, nothing really to do. As far as the dollar's concerned, mildly weaker. Again, holiday trade touched down to these range lows, 120.54, I believe. Never really looked like it had the energy to do much down there yesterday. We were watching it. Um, but now we're right back in the middle of nowhere. The first resistance is, is 121.10. We'll see if that holds. Uh, dollar China. Did not hold above 650. We'll have to see how this thing comes together. Um, probably some consolidation. Is this going to be supported at uh, 647.80? Yes, first time. Uh, nothing to do here now, though. In the middle of nowhere, dollar Swiss hanging. Dollar Swiss is hanging. Uh, are we going to get through this 20 area and close above it? Maybe. Uh, you just have to wait, right? Like, it doesn't really make too much sense to be long here. You might as well just wait to see what it looks like up at 20 again, because this could easily turn. Even though yesterday was a holiday, this bar in Dollar Swiss doesn't look super bullish, does it? Cross yen is higher for no real reason, I don't think, except for the fact that it's just risk on. Dollars are is lower, but we haven't really tickled anything near the figure yet again. Um, that also looks like a turn bar. Um, so a lot of mixed signals today. Ooh, look at dollar. Mexi, sexy Mexi. Should be some risk below 1960. That's real awkward. No one likes that trade. But that actually might work. Gonna keep an eye on that 60 level in dollar max. 
Aussie bouncing around at the bottom. We've already made a new daily high, but just sort of bouncing around. As you can see, not a lot to do this morning. Things have moved back into the range. Um, questions to be had. It looks like, based on this gold bar, based on this dollar Swiss bar, um, euro bar also, these look like turn bars here, so you have to be real careful. doesn't make a whole lot of sense um, to be long dollars right here on in the tactical book. You know, if you're, um, whoops, if you're, <clears throat> if you're long dollars, say dollar Swiss at 89 the figure, or say dollar cat at 126.10, um, that's a different story. You can sit and see how this resolves itself. But on the day, um, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to buy dollars today. Uh, I wouldn't sell them either. I would just sit here and wait. Like none of this is, you know, it's far too early to be looking at these daily bars and seeing what's happening. But we do, it does look like we have quite a few turn bars here. Um, and so you just have to keep that in mind. Let's see, equities we talked about. What are bonds doing? Just sitting here consolidating. So you had your turn bar here. We had the big up day. Um, we're still selling high ones in bonds. Yellen's going to speak today. She's going to say something that sort of should be dovish for bonds. But, of course, dovish for bonds is rates higher. A lot of things happening there. Bitcoin getting ready to do something. You can see this, like, super steep pennant volatility contraction. It's trying to decide. This could go either way. Probably goes down is my feeling. But we need evidence to match with feelings before we trade. It's not enough just to trade on feeling. Crude. Um, not a lot to do. Try and sell high ones if you can. Um, this could easily get up to 53 cents at uh, 53 bucks doesn't really get bearish until you get below 51.30. We talked about that as our sort of medium-term bull bear pivot. So if you want to get short, sell stretch highs. Um, otherwise, don't do a lot, right? We got Yellen today. The calendar is pretty bare in Europe. Um, we got Halliday and speaking late. German Zoo. No one really cares about that. Um, just kind of have to wait and see what Yellen's going to say, um, which she should say she's looking for massive fiscal, uh, fiscal policy moves, which isn't really news. Uh, we got to watch and see what equities do. Equities seem to be driving the bus. You see this equities higher overnight, dollar lower. When equities go lower, dollar goes higher. This seems to be the biggest driver. Um, and I think a lot of people are thinking like I'm thinking. If equities turn and start heading down with any kind of velocity, um, you might get a movement, a safety movement into dollars. If that does not happen and everything stays calm and normalized, policy in the big global macro story um, is over the medium term for a weaker dollar. There's no doubt about that. It's just a question of, is the market positioned for this? Um, I don't know. One of the interesting things about yesterday's bar is if you were like a recent dollar bear, your stop was below 120.60. And we got those stops yesterday, right? 55 was the low. So I don't know, has this move from 123.50 down to 120.50 cleaned out some dollar dollar bears not super clear we don't have any big long-term bets on here now just trading tactically trying to create some pnl to start the year um but these are some of the some of the things we're thinking about anyway quite open today we're going to be patient not a whole lot of great setups the best chart out there is dollar max uh, which is super awkward but 
you know, if equities scream higher and oil pops higher and once Mexico City's in, this could be in play 1960. Uh, on the other side, if you're a, if the dollar goes higher, whether you're a bull or bear, it doesn't even matter, right? These are just setups. If the dollar goes higher, 89.24.25 is the bingo number uh, in dollar Swiss. Anyway, said enough. Good luck out there, people. See you tomorrow. Ciao.